Howdy, my noble friend Sir Kakababu is here with yet another tutorial for the benefit of my friend Sir Daniel aka Strategy002. Partner Strategy, the problem you have told me about is a very serious one. I also faced it when I was playing uh, as Communist China. But being me, I always like to be prepared uh, and uh, uh, by the time that event which you were talking about uh, which that peace event happened I hadn't conquered so many territories maybe two three four territories right so uh, uh, there was uh, not a very uh, big uh, problem for me so uh, the problem is well like in real life uh, all the Chinese faction uh, joined together to uh, fight off the invader which is Japanese so you have no choice but to make peace with nationalist Chinese and uh, uh, give uh, your captured territories back to them and fight the Japanese so our choice is that uh, well, actually I was uh, thinking something else. Anyways, the choice is to sit tight until the Japanese attack, right? Uh, make uh, yourself strong and uh, what preparations should be done, I would get to that later, but uh, you should uh, make yourself, uh, build up your forces build uh, research the technologies and prepare for war uh, and uh, when the Japanese attack they would start invading from this area right you should immediately join the fight and uh, do everything you can to fend them off and uh, defeat them because it would have two benefits first uh, you would uh, be keeping them from reaching your lands, three territories, and your forces which would fight them would be uh, getting senior and experienced as well. So it's uh, all in your benefit to uh, fight the Japanese with your uh, uh, compatriot Chinese. Actually, I was blowing that uh, filter thing which I used before uh, the uh, but um, the cigarette holder anyways an irrelevant thing anyways I was saying so it would be in your benefit and uh, moreover you would get the breathing space you need uh, to upgrade uh, build up your forces and uh, you really need to build a lot of forces and research a lot of technology and do a lot of organization uh, to unify China and uh, that's about it and uh, now let us uh, yeah I was actually <laughs> I was racing ahead and uh, by the time the Japanese are defeated you would have sufficient forces to uh, take on all of the Chinese faction uh, including the nationalist Chinese now I'm going to tell you what you should do firstly well the organization should be done uh, you should have uh, uh, defeated the Japanese by I guess 1943 so uh, 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 you have a lot of time about uh, seven years and seven years is uh, a lot of time so by that time excluding your defensive forces defensive forces uh, are those uh, infantry equipped with regular artillery 
and uh, mixed with some militia units. So about six uh, divisions, a mixture of uh, say three infantry and three militia divisions uh, should be here equipped with regular artillery in these three provinces, right? Or uh, make it ten divisions, five uh, infantry division and five militia equipped with regular artillery in all these three provinces. Uh, that would secure your home region and uh, that would be safe and other than that you should have uh, seven armies uh, three mountain armies uh, three infantry armies and one tank army and each army uh, should uh, contain 12 divisions in it right for the mountain division uh, you should uh, not uh, attach headquarter unit with it and uh, not, uh, not the uh, regular artillery they all uh, only should have those uh, engineering brigades with them right 12 so you should have three mountain armies 36 divisions to, in total now we come to the infantry uh, armies uh, infantry armies would have 11 divisions in each army and one headquarter unit. Headquarter unit should be uh, attached, uh, that uh, self propelled artillery should be attached with it, and uh, some 3 4 divisions of infantry uh, should also have uh, self propelled artillery with them. All the others should have uh, those. Uh, engineering brigades with them right so this is the structure of your infantry <coughs> and one tank army one also tank army would have one uh, headquarter unit equipped with a self-propelled brigade and self-propelled artillery brigade and the other tank army i mean uh, armored uh, divisions uh, should be i guess uh, half of them should be uh, equipped with uh, self propelled artillery and the other ones should be equipped with uh, if you have by that time uh, research the advanced where is it advanced light tanks uh, uh, that would uh, enable a new model light tank right they should be equipped with that or they should be equipped with heavy tanks uh, light tanks do not suppress, uh, I mean, uh, do not uh, hamper the speed and uh, consume less uh, fuel. So, and heavy tanks uh, consume less, uh, more fuel, and they are slow the army down too. Uh, so, I think uh, it would be well, the advanced heavy tanks uh, are more effective, of course, but. The light tanks, uh, because they uh, get uh, in available when they are advanced, so they are really effective and uh, they uh, do a good job too. So half of your armored divisions will be equipped with self-propelled artillery, this one, and uh, half of those should be with light tanks, right? And one uh, uh, headquarter unit. So it uh, it is a total of uh, 36 36 uh, what well whatever the number is three mountain three infantry and one tank army so this force should be sufficient uh, i know uh, these uh, i'm asking a lot but uh, this uh, seven years in hearts of Iron 2 is a lot of time to prepare yourself so uh, you should uh, take full part against the Japanese uh, defeat them and uh, then by the time they are defeated you would you know uh, systematically uh, declare uh, I mean start capturing these Chinese faction they wouldn't have anything 
uh, to uh, counter you because uh, when these forces are uh, 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 operating your forces mountain uh, along with infantry and tank army uh, they should systematically start capturing these territories and uh, uh, in no time you would uh, be in charge of all of China. One other advantage you have is that um, the b biggest problem when conquering a country is that uh, um, while you are advancing and capturing and uh, moving inland, inland the uh, uh, provinces behind you are really uh, uh, buzzing with parties and activity so you wouldn't have any problem because these are uh, essentially Chinese lands so that is the area by that time you uh, in uh, these uh, land rock India you should move into uh, this uh, you can't move in here so you should move here by large front deep operations pocket defense depth uh, defense in depth right uh, your technologies uh, land doctrine should be up to date as well as these uh, whatever the doctrine and uh, technologies are right so if you have that if you have your forces properly equipped and uh, organized and uh, properly uh, general which is Chinese communist Chinese have a lot of good generals and uh, they have no shortage of uh, uh, those uh, high-ranking uh, um, generals so you won't have any problem even uh, the low ranking ones would get senior uh, by the amount of fighting uh, you need to do first the Japanese then the uh, different Chinese section so yeah the, uh, this is uh, the plan for you and uh, uh, however uh, much you have progressed in your campaign stop that there and start a new campaign right and uh, do not record this uh, do all the preparation work uh, and uh, then when the Japanese attack uh, then join in the fighting then you can start recording so that all the uh, boring stuff is already been done right by the time the Japanese attack you should uh, yeah uh, you wouldn't have uh, uh, any problem defending your area by the forces uh, existing forces you have till that unifying and peace event occurs right so uh, don't worry about that and uh, try to initiate peace with the nationalist Chinese and uh, be their brothers <laughs> and uh, trade with them and uh, help them and uh, all that right uh, in fact or when you were uh, you would be at uh, uh, peace with them uh, you could also uh, trade with other uh, nations so trade with them instead of these because uh, you would be giving uh, these butchers uh, supply uh, war supplies which you would uh, which they would use against you so that is uh, not good so yeah organize your forces uh, build defensive forces to hold your area and then uh, join the fight against Japanese and uh, basically this peace event is a blessing for you because the communist Chinese need a lot of time if like in real life uh, when they were defeated from here somewhere and Mao Zedong uh, marched his long march uh, to hear this territory his party and army was absolutely in tatters and uh, they uh, uh, chose this uh, remote location uh, because of its remoteness and uh, it gave them the breathing space to get uh, regroup, reorganize 
build up their strength uh, build up their support and uh, basically prepare for ultimate uh, victory and which is exactly what they did and which is exactly what you should do in this campaign it, it is the way to go and uh, believe me uh, you would have a great time uh, doing all this preparation uh, technologies will be getting research and you can uh, enhance the game speed by right clicking on this one and bump it to extremely fast and uh, yeah also uh, what is that uh, since uh, your industrial capacity wouldn't be uh, increasing anytime soon so you should also start I mean build uh, the infrastructure to 40 or 60 percent then they would uh, that would give you the option of uh, building industry right so uh, each of your territory should uh, contain five industries factories so this one has five this one has none build a five year and five year right so that would uh, increase your industrial capacity a bit capacity a bit and uh, that would be good for you so yeah that's about it and also in the technological sphere this cryptography uh, i think i told you about in this uh, the, uh, this in my message as well so keep them up to date because they uh, 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 enhance your research rate speed and uh, which is really really important since you have a lot of uh, uh, researches to do so it is uh, really important and right? keep those important uh, these basic encryption devices uh, move in this sphere as well because uh, eventually uh, in 1947 it will give you basic information theory or maybe uh, if you want to skip them, skip them uh, totally. Uh, this uh, research modifier uh, technologies are important because eventually they would uh, uh, enable you to research these basic electronic computer and then furthermore, right? So it is important. So technologically, land doctrines, infantry, you know the rest, and uh, this cryptography and uh, yeah equip yourself and uh, i think i've uh, just about covered everything so don't worry uh, if you are a campaign you have to do a lot of uh, uh, gaming ag again uh, uh, because if you keep on uh, uh, invading nationalist china right from the get-go that event would occur no matter what and that would screw up your progress so why waste time and energy uh, by fighting and capturing those provinces when they are going to be returned to these scum nationalist Chinese so yeah uh, hmm. I think everything is uh, covered so uh, if you have any other questions, I, uh, well, you won't have any questions because I've really covered comprehensively this nationalist, uh, communist Chinese, uh, uh, all things uh, regarding communist Chinese. So, yeah, I hope you uh, succeed in this uh, new campaign which you are going to start and uh, uh, do not uh, I mean you can when the next footage you record you can uh, mark as uh, mark it as part 4 of uh, your uh, campaign right and play ahead till the Japanese invade you and then join in the fighting and uh, mark uh, label it as part 4 because it would be a part 4 so the, the continuity of your campaign wouldn't break and you can then explain to the viewers what you have done what you are trying to do and all that stuff right so yeah
do that and uh, you will succeed and do not lose heart sir kaka babu is here and you are here for your own campaign as well so yeah resilience preparation and some mother fucking ass whooping of the enemies would be the deciding factor of your ultimate triumph and it is no doubt in my mind that you would not only unify the chinese uh, kick the japanese asses and these what are these the pocket of japanese but you would also <laughs> capture these territories uh, which are essentially the future chinese uh, region so yeah have fun and uh, yeah take care partner and uh, goodbye so, yeah i forgot <laughs> uh, do not uh, uh, research any move into this air force or navy i just get uh, until you have unified the chinese and kick the japanese as which is going to be a long time later so never uh, do not you move into the uh, base your ic on uh, building up these uh, um, air forces because you do not possess any airfield at the moment and uh, the air force is useless so yeah uh, skip the air force and navy for now and uh, yeah <laughs> that's about it so bye again